Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to back up your iPhone to a Windows computer, laptop, or PC. So let's get started. Now, before you can do this, first thing you need to do on your Windows computer is install iTunes. So in order to install iTunes, you're going to go basically Google search iTunes, and it should be the very first link, which is apple.com forward slash iTunes. It'll take you to the download page on Microsoft Store to go ahead and download and install it. So I have downloaded and once you download it, you're gonna run the installer and it's gonna install iTunes, which is really simple to do. If you need help, I have a video on how to do that. But once you install this app, you're good to go. So first thing is we're gonna go ahead and open up the app and then we're gonna also connect the phone. So in order to connect the phone to your PC, it's gonna work very simple. Like you would charge the phone, you just put one end to the charge port and then take the other end, instead of connecting to a wall adapter, you would take that either USB or USB-C and connect it to your computer's port. So whatever port that you have, here I have it on this port right here, the USB, but you might have USB-C if you have a newer phone. And once you do that, what's gonna happen is it's gonna ask to connect to the phone. So you're gonna see a message that says basically trust and you're gonna click on trust. I already did this, that's so why it's not asking me. And once you do that, it may ask you to download an update, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna show you how we have connected our phone first. If it's connected correctly, right up top here, you'll see an icon for the iPhone. Like I said, you might see a message that says trust and unlock your phone, and you wanna do that. And then you click on that icon right there and that's gonna give you all the info on your iPhone. And now in order to do a backup on the computer itself, what you're gonna do is where it comes down to when you click on that icon, we're gonna see a backup option here. And then it's gonna say iCloud backup, but we wanna do this computer. We can do this computer and if you wanna encrypt or add a password to your backup, you can, but this is optional. And then in order to basically do this backup, you just click on backup now it says manually backup your iPhone so you're going to click on backup and then it will go ahead and ask you if you want to encrypt or not yeah I'm not going to encrypt so I'm just going to do it as is because it's my computer and then as you can see it says trust this computer will come up and then we're going to go ahead and enter our phone's passcode to begin the process as you can see here right here is the icon of backing up that's being working and it's saying up top here the status of the backup. As you can see, it's backing up. And depending on how much data you have, like photos, videos, apps, it might take a little bit of time. But basically, you want to wait for this backup to finish, and it will give us a successful when it was backed up right here when the backup happens on this computer. So as you can see here, we're waiting. Again, the backup, like I said, could take a couple minutes to 10, 15 minutes. Again, it depends all on how much data it's being backed up on your computer. And make sure your computer has space to back up your phone because if it doesn't have enough space, the backup isn't gonna be successful. So it took me several minutes, but now it's been backed up and you can verify that the backup is complete because the progress completed and also you can see when the last time it was back up, you'll see a last backup status right here and the timestamp. And then all you do is done. Now, if you ever needed to restore, let's say onto a new phone, if you're backing up and doing that, this is the option you would come to. You plug in your new phone and then click on restore backup and it'll take everything from your old phone to the new phone there. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more. Tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.